Hi everyone, I'm Daniel Samuelson here with the Healing Qigong. And today I would like to speak with you in this video about, specifically about problems that elderly people suffer from. And this is actually the first video of a series that I want to, to, to give you now. And in the next videos I will explain more and more about specific problems that I know from my experience with my patients and my students and my parents also, that are quite old about uh, problems that they are suffering and how Qigong practice can help them. So first of all, well, I don't know, what is old people? You know, some many years ago, 50 years old was what, quite old today, 50 is very young. And okay, so let's take this, in these videos I will speak specifically about people that are about 60 years old and, and more, 65 maybe I would say even more. Like, I'm 50 now, so my parents say, well, they're quite old, my mother is 77, my father 81, more or less. And yes, unfortunately, they suffer from a variety of health problems. And I know that practice of uh, Qigong can help to relieve most of the problems that they suffer, help to prevent many of the problems that they have, and maintain quite... A, a sensation of health and vitality. So let's talk about a few things. So first of all, if we take something more uh, pronounced in this age, many of the people that are quite old, they have problem with sleeping. There are many sleeping disorders, and there's many reasons for that. Either maybe they are stressed, anxious, and worried. Specifically for this time and for other times in the place, there's always reason to be worried Maybe there is a responsibility, they worry about their health, about the partner health, or maybe the children, or the grandchild, also it's, it's happening many, many times, okay? Some of them have financial problems, so maybe it's effects also of, of, of the way that they are um, feel inside their body, so it's difficult to get sleep. Many, many times it's a result of medication that they take, I don't know, maybe they have a cholesterol or high blood pressure or a pain somewhere, they take medi medication and many of the medication have contraindications together and some of the, them uh, comes to the place that there is difficulty in sleeping and so on and so on. And the problem is that they can't sleep, so they get tense, cranky, tired, and there's a lot of people in this age that are very tired all the time, so the quality of Sleeping is off and the quality of the day-to-day -day life is off because they're tired all the time. So if you practice Qigong just a few minutes a day, you can see that through the breathing and motion exercise, you will get more energy, more vitality. Chinese medicine, I also do acupuncture, and Chinese medicine, we said that many of the imbalances between yin and yang manifest during the night because the night is a yin process. And when it's the yin process and when you're older and the yin is getting down and just decreasing, what happens to us is that the yang is too high, so our body is too hot, our emotion are too high, and the energy is too high, so it's, uh, we have a lot of difficulties in sleeping. So by practicing healing qigong, you can balance the yin and yang energy, you can balance this area and then you can sleep better. I know that during the years, I've been teaching and uh, practicing with the uh, elderly people a few thousand. I can't really remember how many, three, four, five thousand people at least. And many of them suffer from that. And they told me, Daniel, you know, after I started to practice, it really got better. Some of them even cured themselves of that. Some of them only got better, or at least they felt much more energetic in their life still if they couldn't sleep. Because I don't know, maybe they have to go to the toilet five, five times a night. So, it's a problem, but still, by energizing our body and having this vitality with the process of healing Qigong, they can feel better. Uh, if you take the physical part, there is many aches and pains and in, in, you know, in places that are not comfortable for us when we get older and older. Uh, I can feel it also on myself sometimes, you know, I'm 59, not 25 or 18 years before, so yes, there are some things happening there, so by the practice of the Qigong can heal that. But if you think about elderly people, all the tendon, the muscle, the, the ligament, they get 
they get much less nourishing, they get struck. And it's, there's something there that maybe there is an old injury that come back again in the back, in the neck or whatever, in the shoulder. And the day-to-day -day things that you want to do, I don't know, maybe you want to comb your hair or to reach to take something or to bend down or to go inside um, to your car when you do shopping or whatever, it gets more and more difficult. So by having this beautiful practice of Ling Qigong in day-to-day -day life, you will see that first of all, the deterioration is really uh, slowing down or even stopping. That's very important, to stop the, the deterioration of the, the body itself. And you can see that slowly, slowly, by doing these beautiful motions, you can feel that the way that you can move your body again is better than before. Aches and pains that you have will disappear or at least reduce many, many times. And as you know, one lady told me, you know, Daniel, for me to go out from my apartment and to go 300 meters to the supermarkets and buy some, I don't know, groceries and take it with me, it's a great achievement. And now that I do with you Qigong, for six weeks I think she's doing now, and she said that it's much better. The way that she can walk is better. She feels lighter on her feet, stronger, more stability, more security. That's important because when we do the, the practice of Yilin Qigong, we practice about strengthening the muscles, strengthening the, the thighs, the knees. We work on about standing on one leg and doing some things that are related to balance. So when you work with your body, when you have this day-to-day -day routine of healing and breathing and moving, you get more uh, security in your life. Because many people, you know, when they get old, they stop practicing. They stop doing exercise or physical exercise because they feel tired or they don't have time. I don't know, whatever. There's many reasons why we don't practice and slowly, slowly our body is deteriorating. And by introducing again this mobility and this practice to our life, you will feel much more energetic, much more alive. You will regain your flexibility, your agility in your movement. And that's not something to take for granted. This is very important in the elderly age. Very important. I can see it on my students. I can see it on my parents also. So I really highly recommend you to practice that. Let's think about... Let's see. Okay, again. If we take it from the emotional point of view. I know that many people in elder age, they feel that maybe... I don't want to exaggerate. Maybe they are worthless. They stop working or they're almost on the age of stop working and people refer to them as old people and you say, you know, there's lack, much lack of respect in that. And they feel by themselves they don't have things to contribute. Maybe, you know, there's a lot of their friends that are just moving away or, you know, they're dying because it's old age. And you find yourself alone. I don't know, maybe you feel depressed or whatever so by joining this guide and practice you can find new motivation for yourself i know that chinese medicine we call it the metal element metal element is the one that's related to the lungs and when you breathe with your lungs you open the metal you open your construction then you feel that your mind is much more uh, uh, i'm sorry i don't know the word in english okay uh, the way that you you can focus, you can remember more, you can practice, you can learn again, you can feel that you're happy, energetic and alive by the practice of Yin Qigong because the Qi of the lung, the Kong Qi is opening, nourishing with oxygen, the body, the mind, the, the brain itself. So eventually there are so many reasons why to practice Qigong in an old, elderly age. Of course, if you start younger it's better, but you know, we just find it uh, for ourselves to practice, so it's good. So, I'm Daniel, and I'm practicing Qigong at Chi for about 35 years now. And I, in the last few years, I recorded a few online courses of healing Qigong. One of them is about calming and relaxing the mind. The other one is more suitable about how to boost your energy uh, and feel en energetic and vitality. Other ones are related to back pain and shoulder and muscles, things like that. So there's a variety of courses that you can practice with me. So I would recommend you just to contact me, messenger, or email, send me an email or a message or a WhatsApp, and I will 
make sure that you get the correct course for you. So thank you very much for joining me. I will be very, very happy if you uh, register to my channel, if you can give this video to your friends and family. And for anyone that you can think, you can think that will enjoy this. See you. Have a beautiful day. Thank you.